A lot of people have recently taken interest in what CERN has been up to lately and have a good reason to be. CERN is without a doubt the greatest achievement of mankind, so naturally this has created a buzz surrounding all of their experiments and projects, not only because of their recent discoveries they have made concerning the God Particle, but also for their attempts to recreate the same conditions that were inherent in our universe during the Big Bang. Since CERN began in 1954, speculation on what these experiments could ultimately cause were a concern for many people, including many other physicists and scientists. Namely, that CERN could potentially lose control of its machine and accidentally create a black hole that could swallow the entire planet. This buzz also has been fueled in part by their own management. The director of research and scientific computing at CERN was recently quoted as saying, out of this door, referring to the LHC, might come something, or we might send something through it. Also, CERN's very own CEO, Rolf Dieter Heuer, was given several talks named Breaking the Wall of the Hidden Universe, and has made comments during interviews in line with Mr. Bertolucci's. Further speculation has been caused by some of the world's most prominent scientists suggesting the possibility that the experiments done at CERN could open a miniature wormhole or even rip apart the fabric of space and time. With what their own CEO and director have said concerning opening a doorway, and what other top physicists in the field have been theorizing, it is not unreasonable to assume that there is much that CERN is not telling us pertaining to their research. In a moment, we will begin to examine the hidden symbolism that CERN is using as they proceed to conduct arguably the biggest and most expensive experiments in the history of mankind. Some of what is said in this video may sound a little bit hard to believe. But if you are a believer in the Messiah, Yeshua, or Jesus, you already believe in a bunch of seemingly crazy things. You believe that the earth was flooded, and that Noah and his family and two of each of the animals in the world escaped on a giant boat. You also believe that Moses parted the Red Sea and talked to a burning bush. You also believe that Jesus was able to walk on water and feed 5,000 with only 5 loaves and 2 fish. But don't worry, I believe in it all too. So all I'm saying is try to keep an open mind about all of this. In the world of the occult, there is an accepted or common meaning of symbols, and then there is an esoteric or a hidden meaning behind these symbols. In other words, in occult societies, these people aren't going to tell you openly what these symbols really mean, or that they are in fact used in their worship of their god Lucifer. But don't worry, I am going to blow the lid wide open and tell you exactly what it all means. These secret societies or secret clubs hide things in plain sight, because that is part of their ideology. Since they work in the shadows, what does a shadow need to survive? A light source. So they hide their dark deeds in the light so that they can continue enslaving you and your free will. Because since you are able to see what they are doing in plain sight, and then proceed to do nothing about it, this holds them unaccountable for what they do, since you are essentially giving your consent, allowing them to continue. And they love hiding their secret messages in movies and in the music industry. Even their members are kept from these hidden truths until they either move up in the ranks of the organization or they do some serious research. So let's talk about what the secret symbols and the hidden messages that CERN gives to us and their meaning behind them. The first thing I want to go over is their name and logo. If you take their logo and disassemble it, three sixes will appear. Three sixes make up the symbol of the mark of the beast that is spoken of in Revelation. CERN is not the only one who glorifies in this symbol. You can also find this mark almost everywhere nowadays. In Google's Chrome symbol, the Monster Energy Drink logo, even WWW, which stands for the World Wide Web, is Gematria for 666, which, coincidentally, CERN created. I have also mentioned several times in my videos that their mascot sitting out in front of their facility is a statue depicting the Hindu goddess Shiva, who is known as the Destroyer. I also have mentioned that CERN was partially built upon the old temple grounds of a town called St. Genus Pule, which in Roman times was called Apollyancum, a town which in ancient times was dedicated to Apollo, who was also known as the Destroyer, where they built a temple to honor him. This is interesting because of the prophecy found in Revelation that they would have a king over them that would be named Apollo or Abaddon, known as also the Destroyer. Another funny coincidence is that CERN's facility is shaped like a halo, which has been used to glorify deities in the past. Some legends even state that the people of the town of Polyankum believed it was a portal to the underworld. 
Now you can write these all off as just coincidences or you can believe that it is prophecy being fulfilled. Since I don't believe in coincidences, I believe CERN knows exactly what they are doing. And I always say that if you have one, two, or even three anomalies that are seemingly coincidental, these can usually be passed off as just that. But when you have many such anomalies all agreeing with each other in a common thread, it starts painting a bigger picture that is hard to look at without being able to see what was being revealed behind each brushstroke. So on CERN's website, there is a section that lists the names of many of their experiments. I have included the link in the description below. I will not be addressing what CERN claims these experiments are designed to do. I will instead be focusing on the acronyms that they use to title these experiments. Again, what are they trying to tell us? Beginning with our Alpha project, Alpha is one of the terms used to describe God in the Bible. It is also the first letter of the Greek alphabet that symbolizes new beginnings. And I believe CERN is part of the enemy's plan to usher in the new world order where these dark beings are being released as a promise to those who help them to make them gods of this world. There was also a similar titled experiment at CERN called LF, which is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Aegis, according to Greek mythology, was a shield made by Athena. It was used by Perseus to peer at Medusa without being churned to stone. CERN is attempting to peer into another dimension according to their own members. Atlas was an ancient god who was also considered a titan. He was condemned by Zeus because of his betrayal in the war in heaven to hold up the heavens forever, keeping them separate from the earth. Does this sound familiar? CERN is currently trying to break down that barrier, so you can say that CERN is literally holding the balance of heaven and earth in their hands. Athena was considered to be the embodiment of wisdom and the goddess of reason and an intelligent activity. Could they be alluding to the knowledge and wisdom they received from the abyss itself? Asakusa is a district in Tokyo renowned for its Buddhist temple dedicated to the deity Bodhavista Canon, an enlightened being. Bodhavista can also refer to a human being who is committed to the attainment of enlightenment. And let's not forget that Satan masquerades as an angel of light, and enlightenment and illumination is a common theme for the Luciferian worshiper group known as the Illuminati. Alice in Wonderland tells the story of a girl named Alice who tumbles down a rabbit hole into another dimension or reality. The story occurs in the lower parts of the earth or in a pit, which is what the LHC is often described as. Here she is helped by various characters that help her awaken from the dream that she is in. Are you guys following this yet? AWAKE stands for the Advanced Wakefield Experiment and is one of CERN's most recent experiments. What is CERN trying to awake from its deep slumber? Are you awake and aware yet? A totem could be considered a spirit guide, also a spirit being or animal or even a mythical hybrid creature. It's funny to me that these scientists are naming all their projects after spiritual beings and subjects. Are they themselves religious or do they find humor while mocking the spirit? One of CERN's past experiments was a bubble chamber named Gargamel that was designed to detect neutrinos. Gargamel is also a fictional character found in the Smurfs cartoon series that was an evil wizard who sought to destroy all that was good and loving about the Smurf way of life. It's also interesting to note that Gargamel carries around a cat with him named Azrael, which is often described as the Angel of Death. CERN also has an experiment that they call a trap, and it is an experiment to compare hydrogen atoms with their antimatter equivalents. Delphi was a sanctuary of Apollo and an ancient city in Greece, and according to history, there was a great high priestess known as the Oracle of Delphi that would commune with Apollo to see the future. Recall that CERN is located at the site of ancient Apollo. Cerberus is the name given to a triple ionization chamber system used by CERN. In Greek mythology, Cerberus, often referred to as the Hound of Hades, was described as having three heads, a serpent for a tail, and snakes protruding from parts of its body. I'm just loving the names chosen here, CERN. Keep up the good work. Hades stands for Acceptance De-Electron Spectrometer and is a detector aimed at studying de-electron production. This experiment is not run by CERN directly. However, CERN did fund the research and the development of the prototypes the construction of the detector, and also the operation of it. They even participated in the experiments from 2008 until 2009. 
That being said, Hades was known as both the name of the underworld and the name of the god of the underworld, and I'm sure CERN got the honor of naming it. Open Sesame is one of CERN's newest projects. The general director of CERN considers Sesame, which stands for Synchrotron Light for Experimental Science and Applications in the Middle East, they were really reaching here, weren't they? As a competitive light source that could serve a similar purpose. A competitive light source for what? The sun? Could he be alluding to Lucifer, which many considered to be the light bringer or an angel of light? He is also quoted saying that the language of science will be their common tongue. Remember the Tower of Babel story, where God confused their common language because they were building a way up to heaven? And the Sesame Complex is a pearly white building in southern Jordan that is designed like a Greek temple, according to an article put out by CERN. Hmm, very interesting, huh? After its decommission in 1999, the component parts of Bessie were donated to the Sesame Project. Could this be named after the famous lake monster of Lake Erie? Or even more incredibly, named after the witch who lived in the 16th century who was burned at the stake for practicing witchcraft and her admission to the use of a familiar spirit. It sure seems to fit the picture that CERN is trying to convey here. On a website entitled witchesofthecraft.com, the author, Lady of the Abyss, has this to say, Opal is also said to be a very spiritual stone and can help one be invisible in situations where they don't care to be noticed. How much of CERN's activities are going unnoticed by the public? The compass is an ancient symbol of the secret society known as Freemasonry that is used with a carpenter's square as the symbol of their organization. The compass taken by itself is a symbol of the heavens or of the galactic cross which the Illuminati believe is the key of Solomon, the Tetragrammaton, which can also allude to the constellation of Orion. And I have mentioned before that CERN is really a portal aligned to the Orion constellation, which from legend is where dark negative entities dwell. The Solar Axion Telescopic Antenna is perhaps the most obvious example of what I'm referring to at CERN. It was a proposal that CERN acquire this telescope for its research of dark matter. I have been unable to confirm whether or not they got this telescope, but just the fact that they wanted to get a device called Satan should speak volumes to us in light of everything else we have learned. And to finish it all off, CERN is actually just short for Sun Unos, who was the Celtic horn god of the underworld. And we can see the evidence of this if you watch one of the most recent Illuminati rituals that took place in the celebration of the opening of Gothard Tunnel, the world's most longest and deepest tunnels ever created. And if you watch their opening ceremony, it is clearly evident that it is a very dark ritual filled with tons of Celtic undertones, celebrating the arrival of their horned god that takes advantage of a virgin, producing a creature which could be symbolic of their beloved Antichrist that is and was to come. And I will be producing more videos to unmask CERN and what they are actually doing with all their strange experiments. This is only the beginning, so stay tuned for more. Take care guys.